Well guys, after about, I don't know, an hour and a half, two hours of fiddling, this is just a dry fit. And running back and forth the other side to this side, I've been measuring constantly and everything's within an eighth of an inch from one side to the other. And that's the closest I can get it. The only real set point I have is right here to get that there and this line which I know this line is screwed up on the door so it's looking pretty good there um, there's no body line here but there's a roll in the panel and they're matching up but also this door has been worked right here so I'm just gonna go in the middle of the road and hope for the best the only other set point I had was this little thing here in the quarter skin was like an eighth of an inch sitting up on here so I got that sitting there like that and the same distance from here to here so this is what I got to go with uh, now I think I'll uh, run a piece of tape along here and get a nice straight line on here and get rid of those spot welds where somebody did it before so and then I'll make my mark on the car and trim below that mark the width of my flanger and this should sit right in there I'm open so that's what I'm going to do and I'll make some reference points here get my measurements the same so I'll be back here as I show this I'm trying to try to show this for Ruben Yahooben 66 he's interested in seeing this um, like I said there's no uh, there's no method I have no method this is just how I'm going to do it try to get it on there so Hopefully this helps you Ruben. The gaps are not right, but I got them closer than what they were before and I can't really do the gaps until I do the doors. So I'm just gonna go in the middle of the middle of the road here and get what I can close. Uh, the wheel gaps are good around the tires and stuff like that. So just do a lot of measuring before I cut so but I'm ready for that cut on here I'm gonna run a nice straight piece of tape on here get a nice clean line and then remark it on the car and go from there so I'll be back here throughout this nightmarish progress process and back here um, I'm just gonna put this all on and once I get this on then I'll start cutting this up and using one of these pieces that Sam sent me and get that in the back end. Don't know how much of this I'm going to use but we'll see when I uh, get this on and everything's looking pretty good so far. Uh, like I said there is no body lines but there's bulges and the bulges sort of coming close. That one body line down there and it's looking pretty good for what's on the door so like I said I'll be back something else I decided to try, to try to help with this is I run tape here measured it marked it I mean I'm gonna lose this but I'll still be able to measure from that line to that line and use the tape to give me that so Give me the alignments. See, just a few random points. I don't know. Like say, I'm just trying to figure it out in my head so I can get this back on here once I cut that off and get because I got to cut that, this, and this. Uh, but I got to get this first line first, so it's gonna be a gonna be a fun one. So just thought I'd try that, help out and getting things back in. 
actually cutting it right on the curve so it doesn't move. Just using the tin snips. Going nice and slow. We got a lot of room, but it's working. And I'll be able to scribe my line on the car. So I don't want to have to do a whole lot of fiddling. Let me show you that. Got myself a little antenna here. So I'll be back once I get this scribed on there and everything's not moving back and forth this way. I just got to push it up until these measurements here are, are back to this one for instance is four and three quarters, uh, five inches back here, so so on and so forth. So I'll be back. Okay guys, as you can see I got my line scribed and quarter panel skin is going to be that much higher this time. So that's where it was before on the overlap. So now I'm going to put, I'm going to put a piece of tape on that scribe line. So I don't have to strain to see it. So I mean I can see it, but if I turn the right just a certain angle, I don't see it. But they had it pretty good here, but she goes quite high back here. So anyways, I just thought I'd show you that. Got it back off and I'm gonna make my 3/8 line for my flange tool and Cut, cut this off again one more time and flange it and put the panel on so I'll just give you a shot of that once I get her all ready once I get, I'll, well, I'll turn the camera back on and start flanging it so okay guys I got my 3 8 line uh, cut it all by hand with the tin snips because I find it's too out of control with the grinder so I just about, and I cleaned the other side. Um, if I can see it, show you that or not. Um, just so there wasn't no uh, goop on it. She's all cleaned. Uh, there you go. Uh, I used that to clean it with. Worked pretty good. Just had to be careful. And I'm about to start flanging this line and I hope it goes okay now my 3 8 is going to go a little bit up on the tape which will give me a little bit of movement with, with, with my uh, panel so just going to set you up right here on the welder and see if I can get this and focus got the sister princess auto Flange tool, it's got the punch on one side and the flanger on the other. So I'm gonna to try to do this nice and neatly. See how she works. Just make sure she's tied up to the line. going like halfway over the next pass keeping it nice and tight That's a idea of her. Um, just gotta take your time, and you can see my 
up in the tape a little bit, which I might take the tape off now because I'm feeling it binding there a little bit, so uh, just so it doesn't distort my line. I think I'll take the tape off. I also filed this edge so there was no burrs on it and got it pretty good. So I'll turn the camera back on once I get her all flanged and start fitting that skin back on. So this tool works pretty good for a cheapie. But uh, I wanted to butt weld this, but it's six feet long and it's got whoop loos in it anyway. So on the other side, flanging it helps straighten it out. So that's that's why I'm doing it this way. That and it's easier for me to weld. Uh, the welding's coming a little better lately, but I'm still not where I could do a six foot butt weld. Also, somebody made a comment about the wheel tub, wheelhouse. Uh, should put it in now. Uh, I probably, that would be the right way if I had the right tub. But the only ones you can get for these cars, the 75 and up models, is, you, know, you can't buy them. Uh, I've looked, other people have looked, and they're just not available for this model. Uh, so I'm going to take a chance and get the 74 model uh, and I got to have the skin on so I know where to cut it and I'm hoping once I get it I'll know as soon as I get it whether or not it'll fit but uh, yeah it would be easier to put it on now with everything wide open but I got to wait until the quarter's on because I have to uh, do a lot of cutting on the other one I imagine not sure but I imagine but we'll get her in there um, in time, uh, she coming. Anyways, I'll be back. Well, I got her all flanged. She was a little rough right here. Had to bend that back, get the flange tool in behind it. But it goes down on a little bit of a slant. But I think I can work around that. So, next plan of attack is get this quarter panel on. Uh, yeah, that really strengthens it up. You can tell that it's not as floppy. It's pretty straight. Right straight back to you get right here. And there's a little bit of a thing right there, but I might be able to draw that out once I uh, get the panel up there and push from the inside in here and get that just pushed out just a little bit. And uh, Get this panel on, just going to let it relax on there and well, it's got to sit on that ledge and then relax up on along that line and hope she fits. I'll turn the camera back on here as soon as I get it clamped up there. I still got to clean along there and drill some holes in that so have it ready. So I'll be back. She's going on today. Well, it won't be finished today, but it's going on. You'll see the... You'll see what she looks like anyways, so I'm just going to weld it slow so I don't warp it because this side is pretty straight. I'm very surprised. So. Well, there she is. She's dry fitted on and the tapes so far have seemed to work. Um, five and a quarter. I hold it steady. It is five and a quarter. Uh, five inches. It's hard to hold this at the same time, but it is five inches. And back here, once I push in on it, wherever my line is, and down there is four and three quarters, like I got marked. Can't hold that steady but anyways the tape seemed to have worked uh, same as here I'm just gonna leave that and when it comes time I'm gonna tack it up there first just tack it along every three or four inches uh, and then start working my way back and I may be able to bring this where it's drove in a little because where put the quarter pin on last time rolled everything under and kind of that especially right here really bent it down so I got to bring that out a little and uh, 
to meet the this panel because this panel went right back to its original shape once I cut it off because they only had it tacked every four or five inches so anyways that's where I'm at and I'm just going to get the welder out and try not to breathe too heavily on this because I don't have a lot of clamps so I'm just going to spot it there up here first and just move my way back nice and slowly until we get her spotted on other than that she's sitting on there nice she's all lined up there good I mean I gotta do some fitting on the bottom of the rocker rocker's all good just the end is a little bit rotten but I can fix that as you can see it's, it's just starting to fray at the end there so I can match that in later so this is <laughs> probably not a very good panel to start with so we'll go from there and I'll be back she's going on guys she's starting to look good okay guys here we go we're going for the first weld on her either uh, make it or break it I guess I got my uh, tip sprayed up with the spatter block I find that works really good keeps it from getting all built up so here we go I got my uh, third arm out here I got this idea from Tommy Shu a long time ago boy it was in the Andy just lock it in your shoulder and push on your panel and leave both hands free so that works really good so here we go gas on welder on and close like I said I'm just going to tack it on today and I'll finish welding her up tomorrow because I got some other stuff to do and it's 20 after 2 so let's get at it here we go ground on right here measure all my uh, measurements again Right on, as you move.
gas back off. And then we'll check the movement. If I move four and three quarters, four and a sixteenth, five. I know you can't see that, but it's right on. Um, I'll never hold that camera and get the measurement. Five and a quarter. So, all I'm going to do now, um, I don't know, I'll probably have to check this out because it is, but I got to cut uh, here anyway, so maybe I can bring that back out once I put cut this off and put that other piece in that, that uh, Sam sent me. So, I just got to do it this way. Um, doesn't look too bad. I don't know if the camera's picking this up, but she looks pretty flush down along there. And, uh, ooh, got caught up here. And there we go. She's tacked on. Shot of the car, she puts her quarter on. And, like I said, I'll, uh, weld that in between today and tomorrow but uh right now i'm just gonna go uh i gotta do some work to my wood furnace i gotta put a couple pipes on it it's pretty, pretty jam damp out uh it's raining again and yeah you can see the water on the window and uh but i need a couple elbows on the furnace before i light her up and uh house warmed up for Sherry comes home she's working today so I want her to come home to a cold house so gonna do that and uh, hope this helps you a little bit Ruben uh, I'm thinking yours might be a little easier because it's a four door and that panel shouldn't be as long uh, I'm assuming the door will only come to about here and you should have a shorter panel uh, if I remember correctly because I did scrap one as you know, the bottom of this is a four door, and the top is two door. So, you come together, guys. I, I'm so happy to be able to weld that today. So, hope this video is not too long, dragged out. Um, but this is the process I had to go through to get this far. So now it's just uh, welding that seam up and grinding. Welding really slow. I got air here. Might get the uh, sponge with water. Just so I don't warp it any more than what it already is. Uh, this car has been through hell and back, and she's still not out of the woods, but she is closer to being out of the woods. So, uh, and I hope there's not a whole lot of body filling when I'm done, but if there is, there is. But uh, anyways, guys, like I said, Ruben, I hope that helps a little bit. Um, I'm not a very good. Uh, camera person to try to get all the right steps in there but this is what I had to go through I had no plan it was just uh, do it just get out here put it on and try to make sure it looks all right in the end and I may fill those marker lights yet I'm not sure uh, I don't know if I want them in there or not so once I get the front fenders on I'll decide then whether or not I'm gonna fill those marker lights in uh, kind of like the idea is a nice clean side, so it might be the way I go on that, I'm not sure. But uh, anyways guys, uh, this is going to be a long video, I know, probably one of my longest, but I uh, didn't know how else to chop it up, so I don't know how to edit, so I just do little, little sections at a time and add them all together. Maybe that's editing, I don't know, but I don't know how to take anything out yet, so or add anything in, so bear with me here and hopefully by tomorrow this should be uh welded on quarter skin so take care thanks for watching and we'll see you later have a good one